Hey YouTube listeners, watchers, and people who are serious about going to heaven, this video is showing you the beginning to the end of what's going on, like being Trump being the subject. So beginning and end of Trump ruling or the world ruling because Trump represents the United States or the world power. Okay, so beginning and end of world power. Let me just say it like that. So it's Daniel 11 from 21 to 45. Okay. 21 to 45, that's Trump beginning and our 55th president Trump end, okay? Now, you know already numerology is 11 means destruction. Actually, Donald's, the name Donald means destruction too. So, 11 means destruction, okay? 45 is our 45th president. Now, 21 means a cheeky, charisma, bubbly character. Now, 21, that bubbly character starts 21, 45, 45th president, Comes to an end. Now you'll see in Daniel 11, 21 to 45, that's all Trump in black and white. I don't know how people don't see this prophet. It's clear from 21 to 45. I'm going to read you and show you videos that are in the media everywhere that are showing you evidence that is the supporting Daniel 21 to 45. I'll show you videos, everything in this video here, right here. Okay. So now let's get into the reading. Now, Daniel 21, 4, 5. So let's start with 4, 21. And in his place shall arise a despised one. Despised one is Trump. Okay, like I said in my other video. Despised one is Trump. To whom they shall not give excellency of rule. Okay, so they don't think he can do it. He's not a politician. They're not, so they're not giving any excellence of rule in him. Okay, but he shall come in peaceably. You money i will take care of women i promise i will never be in a bicycle race if i'm president you're going to see merry christmas in department stores believe me i would not i'm gonna build a wall i'm gonna take care of you you blah, blah, blah. you're not gonna blow again no, no, no. he came in peaceably not peacefully because there were riots everywhere about trump so he didn't come peacefully he came peaceably there's a difference here because i know a lot of people say no but why are you talking about peacefully peaceful I'm talking peaceably. There's a difference between peaceful and peaceable. When you are agreeable, a peaceable, that means you are saying what they want to hear. You are peaceful because you want to get something. So you're peaceable. So he came in peaceably. Okay, that's not a mistake that word in here. So, to, and she is ruled by flatteries. Now you will see videos talking about him and flatteries and what they, I mean, a whole lot of evidence. In the might cross his path of things in New York, um, but that's going to have very little effect. Mr. Trump's continued uh, flattery of Mr. Putin uh, and by flattery, by, uh, by taking Trump seriously. Now, no other president was ever accused of flatteries like that. So this is definitely talking about Trump. Okay. All right. Let's carry on now. And the arms of the flood shall be swept away from before him and be broken. And also the Prince of Covenant. Now there's two things that's broken here. The first one is the, um, the arms of the flood. The next one is the Prince of Covenant. Now the arms of the flood is the judicial system. Okay, judge. Now I'll show you some proof how I come to this um, explanation that the judicial system is the flood. Now, flood is crime. Okay, wind is war. Okay, prophecy. I'm telling you prophecy right now. So, wind is war, flood is crime. Okay, so the arms of the flood, that means things that are holding the flood not to happen. Okay, just the judicial, that's a judge say, go to jail, don't go to jail. That's a judicial system. Now, you know already that Trump is against the judges. I'll show you video clips showing you that he's really against what the judges is doing right now. So, they shall be swept away from under him. So, that means the judicial, he's going to take over the judicial system. Now, by the way, I need to point this out. I'll show you a video too about it. I need to point this out to you that he has, it's within the United States mandate, uh, president mandate to appoint judges, fire and hire judge, judicial people as he wishes. I don't think Trump knows this, but he got a whole panel of legal advisors. And if they can advise him, he's going to fire all those judges who are, you know, reversing the ban and everything else. So he has the mandate. He appoint he... all the federal judges.
not just the next Supreme Court justice, all of the federal judges to get rid of these people and start over. It's right there in the Constitution. We can do it. And we finally have the House, the Senate, and the White House. Let's do it. Now, here in, in Google Translate, an arm now, remember the Bible before was written in, um, in the language that the Savior was talking on the cross, which is Kosa. Now, an arm, Ingaldo, is an arm, okay? So, an arm of the flood will be an arm of crime, okay? So arm, um, I already explained to you what an arm is. So I'll just show you, I'm just showing you now why, where the arm thing come from. The, why they call it arm, because it just translated directly from that Bantu language. So because Bantu language is called Inga Lo Yom Teto, which is arm of the flood. Now here, the Bible just translated is, okay, it's the arm name, you know. But Inga Lo can mean a department. Okay, so Ingalo, so it means a department, it can also mean an arm. But whoever is translating the Bible chose to take the translation of saying arm. But he could have said department anyway. Okay, now you can see there in that picture that shows Ingalo Mteto, which means the arm of the Lord, the Justice Department. So if you read that book, you'll actually pick it up too. That they're talking about the just Justice Department, Criminal Convictors Justice Department. Okay. So that's what Ingalum Ted is. So now if Trump knew it, he could have he could um change that those arm, those people there, change and replace them as he wishes. Okay? But I don't know, I don't think he knows it. I hope he don't know it. So, you know, we stay in peace. But anyway, so the arms of the flood shall be swept away from before him. Okay? Now we already know, you'll see this clip, right? Listen to this clip real quick where he shows how he feels, really feels about the, um, about the judges and the judicial, you know, people. Now he says in one of his tweets, the judge opens up our country to potential terrorists and others are bad people. The, see? The, there are three judges, a three panel of judges who will look at this, who will look through and say, do we need to agree with the Department of Justice on legal grounds or is the judge's decision in Washington, can that stand as this goes through? Now, now these three judges are the ones that are totally against what Trump's rulings are. So they are reviewing whatever Trump is saying and they are against it now. He can replace or not. So that's the point. That's why I'm saying um, we don't want to, um, I, I don't know even what to say about it. But anyway, let me just carry on. But the point is the arms of the flood will be swept away. So whatever the judges are going to try to do, they, will, they won't win. I already know now because of this prophecy. They won't win because it says here the judicial system will be swept under him. From before him, that means they will fall. They won't overcome him. Okay, that's what that means. So arms of the flesh shall be swept away from before him and be broken. Okay, and also the prince of covenant. Now let's talk about the prince of covenant. Okay, now you know the um the 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 prince of the Brit. You know the word Brit means covenant. Okay, and Ish means man, okay? And, and Brit Ain, Ain means land, okay? So Brit Ain means covenant land, okay? Now the prince in that land is Prince William or his brother, okay? So Brit, like you know, the Brit, Brit Hadasha means new covenant. If you, you know Hebrew or you go to those Jewish churches. So Brit means covenant, okay? So Brit Ain. So the prince of Britain shall be broken. Now I'll show you a video that shows you already how they feel about Trump, both princes of Britain. Okay. So starting from this younger one to the older one, you can listen for yourself and tell me if we are not. A not so royal welcome. A source tells us weekly that Prince Harry is not a fan of President Donald Trump and that he was devastated when he was elected. The source tells us Harry thinks the president is a serious threat to human rights. But he's not the only one. Prince William has expressed concern as well, the source tells Us Weekly.
Okay, Prince of Covenant. There you go. Now let's go on to the next one. And after they join him, he shall work deceit and shall come up and become strong with a small nation. Now the small now that they join him, not the prince of Britain in them, because they will not join him. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the small group, the elite, the rich people that are working with him. So he shall he shall prosper with that small nation, small group of people. So after they join him, he shall work deceit. He, he already starting to lie and deceive. And, you know, he already fired one of the people that he... So he, he, he will work deceit. And shall come up and become strong with this small nation. Now, this small nation is, is the small group of people that he is working with. So the elite, small, rich group of people. Now, you, you listen to this video here. And you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead. And listen. Read Donald Trump's 40-minute victory speech in its entirety. And it was filled with lies from start to finish. And the networks then devoted virtually no time to reporting or analyzing those lies for that audience that just heard them. Donald Trump got away with every one of those lies on live. But what you might not know is that Donald Trump is a pathological liar. In fact, Politico looked at a week of Trump's public statements, four and a half hours, and determined that he lied more than five dozen times. On average, that's a lie every five minutes. Here at Correct the Record, we've done our own analysis. We took a look at just 23 of the fact checks where the Washington Post has given Donald Trump its worst possible rating of four Pinocchios. We added up all the times he has repeated those lies, oftentimes after they have been judged false, and found that Donald Trump has accrued well more than 1,000 Pinocchios. Donald Trump is a serial liar, but don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Okay, now you got it, okay? So deceit, he shall work deceit, he's already done it. And then, now let's go to the next one. And after, oh, that's, that's the one we just read now. So he's already worked deceit, he's already shown y'all what he's all about, okay? So there is no way... No two way about it. And that small group of people could be, you know, really that small team of people that he's working with or, um, or, you know, some, there's a small group that is called, um, like it's a small group of Trump supply, uh, supporters called Trump Nation. Small. So, you know, it's anybody, but I think it's the ones that are the rich elite people that are supporting him. Okay, I think that's what the small group is. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We're going to chapter 45, unpacking each one of them. He shall enter peaceably. Now, we already spoke about peaceably. Enter peaceably, even into the richest places of the province, and do what his fathers have not done, nor his forefathers distribute among them plunder. Now, the them is the elite rich people. Discipline among, around, plant and spoil supplies and devise his plots against the stronghold. Stronghold is the, is the areas that have got, that got a lot, a, a big presence of the Democrats. Okay? Which is what he's not. So, all the place now, I'll show you. We're going into what they used to call Democrat strongholds, where we're now either tied or leading. That he's talking about, he's gonna go into those strongholds. He's talking about getting into strongholds, and it is strongholds. He's talking about getting into those strongholds of those people. Okay? So it is, um, this is real prophecy. It's just so clear. I don't know how people miss this. Okay? Now, look at, look at how much rich the, the Trump people got. As soon as Trump became, started becoming president, all those people, America to, America's 10 riches gained 16 billion dollars during Trump's first week. Now you tell me if this, he, this, this prophecy is not fulfilled here, where it says he shall enter peace and, and plunder, plunder and spoil supplies. See, all of those, even to the richest places. So he takes all the riches and give to them. All right, so this is as clear as can be. You know, you can see how much these people started gaining. You know, the people's cabinet. These are all the people in his cabinet. Look at him. 46 million rich people in his cabinet. Really rich people in his cabinet. And, and this is just a few of them. 
five billion, billion. They are billionaires, most of them. Okay, so so that's the small group that he's working with, that he's prospering with. Okay, and 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 you know, you 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 actually understand what I'm trying to say. And he shall stir up his power and his heart against the sovereign of the south with a great army, and the sovereign of the north shall be stirred up to beggar. Now, South Korea and North Korea, that's what we're talking about here. So, he shall stir up his power against North Co South Korea with a great army, and, and, and South shall be stirred up to beggar with a great, great army. Okay, and but not stand for they shall devise plots. They is now Trump with his person that he works with. So probably Russia is gonna you know work together with with Trump. So to to go against the South Korea, I don't know. But this says he shall stab his power again and his heart against the king of the South with a great army and the sovereign of the South shall be stirred up to battle. Now, right now. United States is supporting South Korea, you know, in that thing going on between North Korea and South Korea. So United States is, is, is helping South Korea. So we got a whole lot of, in, you know, soldiers and everybody else there helping South Korea. But Trump is already starting to complain that these South Koreans don't seem to really appreciate this. And it's a lot of money United States is spending in there. And you know, they're not really gaining much from South Korea. What's the benefit from all of this? Listen to him saying that. South Korea. I love South Korea. I have great, I have buildings in South Korea. I've done jobs in South Korea. It's great. We have right now 28,000 soldiers on the line between North and South. 28,000 soldiers. They pay us peanuts. Peanuts. You heard that? And he says this in many other places that they are not paying us. They are not this and that. It's like they don't appreciate what United States is doing. So, and then... Now, in, in time, North Korea says U.S. has, now, North Korea, he, he, I mean, of course, is against the United States because now, if North Korea is against the South Korea, is fighting with South Korea and the United States sides with South Korea, then, you know, it's obvious that North Korea is going against, against the United States. So now, listen to this video here and you tell me. New information tonight that Donald Trump got a dire warning about a major national security threat he'll face when he enters the Oval Office. A threat that comes from a young... See all this kind of noise from North Korea? And Trump's going to sit back and start to think, man, this is probably not even worth it. See, they even made a, video, um, a movie, North Korea attacking the White House. You remember that movie, uh, All Impasse is Fallen? That's North Korea. Yeah. Now, United States... Um, Trump might probably reconsider the protection of the South Korea because it comes with a cost. North Korea now is trying to threaten us. They got nuclear bombs. They got a whole lot of mess they can come in, and deliver on us. So then, so probably then, plus Trump has got that mentality of got to get going to a land and rip the profits from that land. Get something out of that land. You got that mentality. You saw the video. So now, so this prophecy of getting in there, king of the south, going against the king of the south, it can happen because now you already see. And then the, the king of the north is already there. He's already pushing against us anyway. Okay? Okay? Now you understand. And then here's an answer. And those who have been eating his food shall destroy him. And his army be swept away, and many shall fall down slain. Now, those who've been eating his food, that means the people who... Uh, now, you'll see a video Trump talking about those people eating his food, actually. So, those who eating his food shall destroy him, okay? So, shall go against Trump. So, Trump is going... Doing, just listen for yourself. We give these big state dinners. We give them state dinners like you've never seen. We shouldn't have dinners at all. We should be eating a hamburger on a conference table... And we should make better deals with China and others. And forget the state dinners. You forget the state dinners. That cost, by the way, a fortune. You got that? So, so <laughs> he's already complaining about these people who are eating. But now, the fact is, he's talking about those who are eating his food. You know, so they shall destroy him. So now, that Olympus has fallen. 
Probably that's the way it is because in all the ones that's following, those people come into the White House, they accept it. Probably there's a banquet just like the movie, don't show everything. There's a banquet and then the destroyed thing come on. Okay, so, um, so prophecy is on its way. You know, you, you won't see this in a future president. This is Trump. This is the only guy who fulfills all these things. Okay, okay, let's go and read the next one. And both these sovereigns' hearts. Now, these sovereigns are is Trump and uh, Putin, okay, because we already know their bodies. So, both these sovereigns' hearts are to do evil. Putin is already labeled as a killer. And Trump, Trump don't care. And speak lies at the same table. They are both liars. We know that. But not prosper for the end is still for an appointed time. So the, the reason why they won't prosper is because, you know, divine intervention. Just listen to this one. Oh, no. No, it's not a video. Sorry. So these two kings, as I just said, it's, it's the two people, Trump and Putin. They are buddies. And, and from, from, the, from the, okay, listen to this one. That's a good thing. Will I get along with him? I have no idea. It's He's a killer, I though. Won't. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. You got a lot of killers. Why well, you think our country's so innocent? Now, you see, he's defending Putin, which just shows to prove that both of them got evil hearts. Because now that prophecy is saying both these sovereigns' hearts are to do evil and speak lies at the same table. So both of their hearts, they're, they're supporting each other. One is said to be a killer and the other said, no, he's a killer. Fine. I, I'm not judging him. Because we are also in a killer zone. So they are, their hearts are also are both in, into the evil era, area. Okay? So they are both to do evil and they still lies. I mean, lies, lying is not known, Trump's. So that one is easy to, to just see that it will be fulfilled as it is. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Then he shall return to his land with much supplies. Now you know who we're talking about already. With much supplies and his heart be against a set apart covenant. And he shall act and shall return to his land. Now, this, this, and he shall return to his land with much supplies. You know, Trump, when he goes somewhere, he goes to get something out of there. The media won't show everything. So he goes in there to get what he wants, invest land, deals, and then he gets it. So he come back with much supplies. Okay, whatever supplies, probably Russia, because Russia got ammunition, real good ammunition. So, probably get supplies from there, and his heart be, be now, be, his heart be against the set-apart covenant. Now, we already know Trump, I mean, Putin, is against the, Chris, the Christian um, preaching. Like, you cannot, he, he, he got a law, a rule there that you can't publicly do evangelism. Like, you can't go out there talking to people you know, about Christianity, you know, trying to talk about Christianity to everybody. No, you can't do that in Russia. So I'll show you a video. I've got videos talking about this here. Some disturbing news from Russia. President Vladimir Putin signed a law outlawing evangelism and cracking down on house churches. The laws forbid evangelism outside of churches and other religious sites. That means people can't even share their faith in their homes or even on the internet. They also restrict missionary work. For example, there can be no preaching, teaching, or any activity aimed at bringing people into a religious group. So, so now, if he comes from Putin, he got that mentality, that influence about Christian evangelism, public evangelism, public evangelism. So he comes back to his land. She says he has returned to his land, which is now Trump coming back, with much supplies, okay, munitions and stuff. And his heart or, or and other stuff. You know, you know Trump is a businessman. He don't care about munition that much. So business stuff. And his heart be against the set apart covenant. Okay. Now the covenant is symbolized by those things. I'll show you the picture right now. There. See those, that, that picture there is showing the, the signs of the Ark of Covenant. Okay. Now the set apart covenant, that's their covenant. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry to break it down to you, to break it, you know, spring it up to you, that Christianity was started by the Romans. So it's, it's a pagan religion. Christianity with Jesus, that white man on the cross as their savior, and that's all a pagan thing. Okay, so the set apart covenant is a covenant based on that Christianity thing. Okay, 
I know a lot of people are still Christians are going to be surprised, shocked when they are listening to this part of my video. But anyway, so, so he, okay, you got that. So now Putin is as clear as can be that he's against, you know, evangelism. Okay. So then he will influence Mr. Trump. Okay. When it goes in, he shall come back Trump and implement the same thing here. Okay. Now 29, at that point in time, he shall return and go towards the South. But it shall not be like the former or the latter. Now, the South, South Korea. So he shall return and go and visit that South where he was, U.S. is currently protecting right now. So when he goes there, it will probably be nuked, or, but it shall be totally, totally different. Okay? It shall not be like the former or the latter. It shall not be anything close to what people envisioned or anything that they knew before. Okay? So that's what that means. South Korea. Okay? Let's go on to the next one. For ships of Kittim shall come against him. Okay? So, and he shall lose heart and shall return in rage against the set apart covenant and shall act and shall return and consider those who forsake the set apart covenant. Now, the set apart covenant is that covenant I showed you. So you have, to, it's got rules. What I showed you is just a picture of the covenant. But there's rules, it's a beast system, okay? It's a whole beast system. So now he shall go against the people who are um, not conforming fully into the beast system. So people who are not going according to the new world order. Let me just say it like that. The new world order rules, because there will be more rules that are, you know, supporting the beast system. So now the ships from Kidem are uh, ships from China. Now China, South Korea, Russia are really close to each other. Okay. So China, the ships from Kidem shall come against him. So that means imports. So China will not export stuff from to US and they won't import stuff in it. Because I know a lot of the cell phones. Um, I'll show you a video just now. A lot of the cell phones, US cell phones are imported into China. And China, I mean, is really helping with manufacturing and everything. So now ships from Kidem, that means ships from China. So that means the shipping, you know, the import export will be affected. Okay? L listen to this video here. This newspaper said that if Trump slaps a 45% tariff on Chinese imports, as he said he would do during his campaign, China US trade will be paralyzed. China will take a tit for tat approach. A batch of Boeing orders will be replaced by Airbus. U.S. auto and iPhone sales in China will suffer a setback. And U.S. soybean and maize imports will be halted. So. Okay, you got that? Ship some kidding. Ship is shipping. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. And strong ones shall arise from him and profane the set apart place, the stronghold. And shall take away that which is continual and set up abomination that lays waste. Now, a stronghold is a, um, is like an oasis. So, a typical example, if you are in a city and then there's something wrong that's going on in the city, people are divided. And then there's a, there's a certain hub or safety zone or something like, like where a certain help or certain group is concentrated. That place is called a, a, a stronghold. Like a, a where something is concentrated at, like a lot of people who believe in the same thing, they are, that's they are res, residing. I don't know how to explain this, but a stronghold is something that where is you know there's um there's a I don't know it's 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 a like it was them a, a case in point is the Democrats and 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 the Republicans. We're going into what they used to call Democrat strongholds, where we're now either tied or leading. Now, the cities that has a representation, a lot of representation of the Democrats, there will be one city that they know, that Trump knows that, yeah, this is the, so that is strong, that's a strong, it's called the stronghold of Democrats. That's where a whole lot of Democrats are, and they convene, they meet, they, that's where, so that's called a stronghold. Okay, so a stronghold, so he shall take away, which is continual, and set up abomination that lays waste. So, now, here, and, and uh, when you take off, um, a continual, continual is police, and you set up the martial act, march, the army, abomination that causes desolation, okay, or the abomination that causes waste. 
Okay, so that's what this talks about, number 31. So the strong ones shall arise from him. So that means he'll have a group of people that are really strong, you know, warriors and profane the set apart place, the stronghold. So I suspect that this set apart place, the stronghold, is the is Israel, what they call Israel right now. So they shall profane Israel and go in there, and now Trump's people will go into Israel and start replacing the 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 police there with the army. Okay, so because that's what that says. So we'll watch what he's gonna do in Israel. But this says he's gonna replace the the police in there with the army. Okay, that's the stronghold, and shall take away which is continual and set up abomination that blaze waste. Okay, or this stronghold is where the Democrats are. So he shall go in there where the Democrats at and replace, you know, and put Marshall Act in there the, and put the army instead of the police in there. So that his, his, his Republicans are protected even more, okay, in those places where there's a whole lot of representation of the Democrats, okay? So that means a Democrat stronghold, okay? Now here's the next one. And by flatteries, you know flatteries, we already saw a video now. He shall profane those who do wrong against the covenant, but the people who knows their father shall be strong and shall act. Okay? So, now, he shall be against the religions. He shall profane all those who do wrong against the covenant, who do wrong against his covenant, the demonic covenant. But people who will still follow their own little gods, their own Elohim, they follow their gods. Probably the Muslims and the other Christians who will not want to follow his way of religion, Trump's way of religion. Okay, but he shall go against those. Okay, he shall he shall he shall profane those who do wrong against the covenant. Okay, now that one is clear. I don't think I have to explain for. And those of the people who have insight, who sh shall give understanding to many, and they shall stumble by sword and flame and captivity and plundering for days. Now, this is not something that's strange in Trump's world because he's already banning a bunch of people at the drop of a head and he don't feel guilty at all about it. So, and those people who have insight shall give understanding to many. So, the, the other people who are you know, who know scripture will tell them, guys, no, no, this Christianity is down. We don't worship that white man on the cross. Let's just run it. So people who have inside shall give understanding to many. So people can stop worshiping that white man on the cross in Christianity. Maybe it's some come back from Islam. And they shall stumble by the sword and flame, by captivity and plundering. So Trump is really going to go against those people. Okay, with all those things, sword and flame. Sword is is uh, is 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 restriction, religious restrictions. And flame by captivity and plundering. Captivity and plundering. You know, I mean, people will be detained if they start, you know, following their own religion. That's what that is. So, and then the next one. And when they stumble, <clears throat> and when they stumble, they shall be helped. A little help, but many shall join them by flatteries too. So that one is also clear. You'll see all these things will start panning out. Okay, I'm trying to move on a little further. And some of those who have insight shall stumble to refine them and to cleanse them and to make them white until the time of the end, and it is still for an appointed time. So that one is clear too, because the people who got the real understanding about the religion, will really, really have a tough time explaining to the people, preaching to the people, because Trump will make it hard for them. Okay? And and then, and the sovereign shall, um, now, we're on 36 now, and the sovereign shall do as he pleases. That's Trump now. That's not new. That's, you know, you know how he can do and exalt himself and show himself to be great above every powerful person, every mighty one. And speak incredible, this is incredible, incredible, against the Father, the great, the God of mighty ones. And shall prosper until the wrath 
has been accomplished. So he, Trump is still going to, actually he's already started talking about he's the greatest, he's the great. So he will actually start talking about he's, the, he's greater than even the creator, the father creator now. That's what he's, they say he's going to do. And have no regard now, he's in 37, and no regard for the father, the mighty ones of his fathers, no, of the desire of women. The desire of women is an obvious one. Everybody knows it. Uh, here's a video about it, too. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. I don't even wait. I moved in her like a but I couldn't get there, and she was married. Me gritaba todo el tiempo me. Me dice, you look ugly, or te ves gorda. You know, she gained a massive amount of weight. It was a real problem. Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. She ate like a pig. And I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. You know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. Cher is somewhat of a loser. You, she's lonely, she's unhappy. While at Bette Midler is an extremely unattractive woman, a person who's flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. You wouldn't have your job if you weren't beautiful. Donald Trump said the following about you, quote, look at that face, would anyone vote for that? Can you imagine that, the face of our next president? The boob job is terrible. You know, they look like two light posts coming out of a body. At Ariana Huff, is unattractive both inside now. It's a pretty picture you drop in John and Dennis. Trump uses an intern's back to sign a release form. I could do this all day long. When I come home and dinner's not ready, I'll go through the roof. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Miss Utah, Temple Tiger. When I said that I needed the break and it was for breast pumping purposes, he got up. His face got red, he shook his finger at me, and he screamed, you're disgusting, you're disgusting, and he ran out of there. Every vagina is a landmine. Haven't we both said that in <laughs> private? I never thought she was good looking. But you treat women with respect. Uh, I can't say that either. So he will have no regard for the mighty ones of his fathers, nor the desire of women nor have regard for any mighty one, but exalt himself above all of them. I'm the greatest. I, nobody can do this better than me. No, 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 no. But he's, he's, you know how he is. But in his place, he shall give esteem to a mighty one of strongholds. Now, you already know. Trump is about um, getting a small group, get concentrated, you know, get focused with this small group. Move on. Have towers, strongholds. Strongholds is also a like a forte, like a, a like a, a protection thing where you know it's um. What's the word I'm looking for? I forgot this word. I'm looking for. So, but he shall give esteem to a mighty one of strongholds, and to a mighty one on which the fathers did not know. He shall give esteem with gold, silver, and precious stones and costly gifts. So he shall bribe, that's what that means, to, to, to get people to be in favor and join to be his concentrated group. So he shall have the small group of people that he's prospering with, and those people he shall gain through showering them with gold, silver, precious stone, costly, really costly gifts. He's going to spend a lot of money to retain the small group of people that's supporting him. So those are the mighty ones. Mighty ones are billionaire, p powerful people. So he shall give esteem to mighty ones of strongholds. Okay? So now with precious stones, costly gifts, and, and so forth. Okay? And he shall act against the strongest stronghold. Now we are in 39. He shall act against the strongest stronghold with a foreign mighty one. The foreign mighty one, now you already know. Putin. That's the only one we can think of. So he shall act against the strongest stronghold. Strongest stronghold probably is um, is where the Democrats are mainly concentrated at, which he shall acknowledge. Okay, that's the foreign mighty one, foreign king. He shall increase in esteem and cause them to rule over many and divide the land for gain. So he shall cause whoever these foreign people are, foreign powerful people, he shall let them come in and, and, um, and he shall 
let them invade the biggest stronghold here in the states, and then he shall there's a land here. He shall let he shall divide the land for gain. He shall sell a certain land. Okay, so he shall divide that land and sell it for profit to these billionaires, whoever it is. Okay, now this is talking about Trump. If you start wondering about somebody else, no. Even if this, what I'm telling, the interpretation, because it's future, the past is spot on. For now, the future might not be spot on because I'm just saying what I, I think. So now you, you, you will see how the future pans out. Then you start connecting it to this Daniel 11, um, 2145. At the time of the end, the king of the south shall push at him. Now, South Korea is going to push against him too now. Tired. And the sovereign of the North, or North Korea already rushing against him anyway, shall rush against him like a whirlwind with chariots and horsemen and everything they got. Ships. And he shall enter the lands and shall overflow and pass over. So now the U.S. is going to enter the land. He's going to go into North and South Korea, enter there, and probably defeat them. That's what this says. So he shall enter the land, prosper, and pass over. Okay? So, and shall enter the splendid land, and many shall stumble, but these escape from his hand. Edom, Moab, and the chief of sons of Ammon. Now the splendid land could be either Israel or the land that is called Splendid Land here in the United States, which is eastern part of Mississippi, like you see in the picture there, the eastern Mississippi, which got still got some tribes that you know, some Indian tribes that are us, you know, that's blended within nations. But so it's also called Splendid Land. So he's, so we'll see as time goes on where he's going to enter and and now. Cause a lot of people to stumble, but these will escape from Edom, Moab, and, and chief of the sons of Ammon will escape. So the certain group of people that won't buy into whatever he's trying to do. And he shall stretch out his hand against the lands, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. Now for now, Egypt has escaped that ban. Remember the ban that he had last week? Egypt was not there. So it escaped. So this is, you know, at least, you know, in line with that. And he and so he shall stretch out his hand against the lands. So Trump is looking for business deals, looking to prosper himself. So he's stretching out his hand against the land. We don't see all these things online, but that's what's happening behind the scenes. I'm telling you. So he shall stretch out his hands against the lands, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. And he shall rule over the treasures of gold and silver, and over the riches of Egypt, Libya, and Ethiopia. Now, in the pen, Egypt and Ethiopia was not in that list. Okay? That list had uh, um, Libya. Libya was there, but Somalia was there, Sudan, Yemen, Iran, Iraq, Syria. But Egypt and Ethiopia was not there. Libya was there. So, but these countries, I'm saying, you know, Afghanistan, and, and those are all Muslim countries. So if really this ban was about Islam, no, then the, he would have included, you know, Afghanistan in there. But this is not about Islam. This is about he's stretching his hand for riches. He shall stretch out his hand in the lands of Egypt and um, rule over the treasure. It's about him trying to rule over the treasures of those lands. If there's an agreement, they don't get banned. If they don't agree, they get banned. That's it. That's all that determines who gets into the list or down. It's not about Islam. So Libya, Libya, um, and over the reach of, so Libya is probably trying to retaliate. That's why it's back in the list of the bans. Okay. But anyway, then the reports from the East here now, that's where we at. The reports from the East and the North shall disturb him and shall go out with grave wrath and destroy and put many under the ban. That's what he's done already. 
Okay? So that means this has happened. He's already stretched out his hand. He already rules over the treasures of those countries, Egypt, Libya, and Ethiopia. He already rules over the treasures. And probably even all the treasures of Iraq, Iran, Syria, Sudan, Yemen, and, and Libya. All those ones he had just, oh, excuse me. All those ones that he just banned, he probably don't have rules over their treasures. But Egypt, and, and, you know, Afghanistan and them, he probably got rule over the church. That's why they're not in this list, okay? So that's what that, so the report in 44 shall disturb him, and then he shall ban a whole lot of people, which is what he did last week, okay? Now you, you are in, on, at power with the prophecy. And he shall pitch his tents. Now this is the last part of his ruling his life. Shall pitch his tents. Of his palace between the seas and the splendid set apart mountain, and but but shall come to his end with no one to help him, with none to help him. So he shall pitch. So now I I I think his tense. I mean, we know Trump is an extravagant guy, flamboyant. He probably will pitch a, some kind of a nice big old house, beach house, next to the seas. So there'll be a sea in front, and there'll be a mountain behind. So that's what this is. So he shall pitch his tents of his palace between the seas and the splendid set apart mountain. Now the splendid set apart mountain, probably then he'll find a place where he um he builds this house, but there's gotta be a beach in front. Maybe that's Mississippi or Israel. Uh, we don't know. Like I said, splendid land can be that Mississippi place or because he's look he's probably looking at that because it's an unexplored beautiful land. You saw that picture. So he said pitch his tent between the seas. Mississippi got a whole lot of lands. Israel, I mean a whole lot of sea. So there's the sea in front and then there's the um mountain behind. So that mountain will be a set apart mountain. Okay, but you probably won't know about it. So now when we see that happening, when we see Trump building or setting up a, a dwelling where there's the sea in front, sea view, and there's a mountain behind, then we know number 45 has hit home. And there, that's where he's going to come to his end with none to help him. That's what 45 is saying. Okay. And then straight after that, now you tell me that's where everything goes haywire. Because now when he comes to an end in that 45, now that's where the doom happens, the whole doom of the earth. The father comes back to rescue the people <clears throat> who are written in the book of life. Now that's Daniel 12. Okay? Straight after that, there's no other in-between chapter or verse or anything. It's straight after 45 that I just read about Trump, you know, in that land, and he, he, he gets assassinated, comes to his end with no one to help him there. Now, Daniel 12 says, Now at that time Michael shall stand up the, the great head, who is, now that's when there's great distress, okay? So he shall stand up, the one who's standing over the sons of your people, okay? The sons of people, I, I've got another video, I'm showing that, who those are. Those are the Bantu people that are the people who spoke the same language, okay? Now, they're called Kosa, but I just want to believe with all my heart that is the 12 tribes of Israel, not just the Kosa people. But anyway, so, but Daniel spoke Kosa. He could read it. So he says, now, standing over the sons of your people, and there shall be a time of distress such as never was since there was a nation until that time. And at that time, your people, that means Daniel people, your people shall be delivered. Now, Daniel people, Daniel was Kosa. So his people can be Kosa people or Bantu people, which is all the children of Israel, okay? So, the, it says, at that time, at that time, your people shall be delivered. Everyone who is found written in the book, so all the course of people, all the children of Israel, the 12 tribes all over Africa and the world, whose name is, who are not worshipping the Jesus, the white man on the cross, who are not caught up in the beast system, that means whose name are written in the book of life, shall be delivered. Okay, and many of those who are asleep, so people who are dead will be risen up. So this is the end, dead, risen up to everlasting life or to hell. Okay, so tell me if there's any millennium, seven years and anything waiting there. This is the end. 
Because this is the end of Daniel 12, 1. Because 12, 2 is just talking about what's going to happen. Daniel, close this book. Now we're done talking. Close the book. It's for the future. That's what Daniel 12, 2 is saying. So 12, 1 is saying there's going to be the doom. All right? So you all need to understand prophecy and talk, stop bubbling, tripping about there's going to be another and another king. This king is not the last one. This is obvious. This is the last king I just read to you, trying to explain to you. And the only reason why I'm trying to explain, I'm not trying to be caught up in politics. And I'm trying to let, I'm trying to make sure you all understand that you have to start pulling up your socks right now and repent and, and point to the right direction. Okay. Point to the right direction right now because we are at the end. We got Trump already, and here's prophecy talking about it. And he's already almost halfway, the prophecy. And in my vision, it said two and a half months right now. Okay, I had a vision about two and a half years ago. And that vision was pointing to 217 April. And now that implies that we got two about two months now, two months. Because in April, any date in April. So I'm counting two months, March. I'm counting February, March. Okay, I'm still counting February. We started February and March. Because April is any day in April. Okay, some people think it's going to be on the feast, feast day. Some people, yeah, we don't know. Somewhere in April. Okay, nobody knows the day nor the hour. Now, hypocrites will talk about Nobody knows. I'm saying the year and the month. Okay, not day and hour. Yes, nobody knows day and hour. Okay. So now, so that's what it is. So y'all know now. We are almost halfway. Trump is really going fast too because the devil knows he got short time now. So he got to move fast. So Trump is signing everything he can sign to, to promote what. But they, they, they got a whole lot of evil plans, which won't all happen because we'll be rescued before they start and wiping out everything that, they, you know, torture and wipe. No, they got guillotines in, 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 in FEMA camps. They, they're really geared up prepared. But we will be rescued. Our father will rescue us. Now, you better know who the father is. If you're tripping about Yahshua, Hashua, all those other people, that is not the Bantu father. Then you're in trouble. You will not be rescued. I'm telling you for the last time. So now this Daniel 12 one is the doom, the ultimate doom. That's the end. Okay? All right, bye.